Time for another segment of Sit Me and Sit with our dog expert, Jim Clausen. And uh, you know, it's been a couple months already since we had our Boise's Worst Dog competition. You may remember Stanley. <laughs> he was at the time one of Boise's worst dog. Jamie Carbray is the owner. Welcome back, Jamie. Thanks Thank for coming you. to the studio. Jim, good to have you, uh, as always. For us. Now, we brought Stanley back in because it's been, like we said, just a few months. And Jim, you said Stanley is doing amazing. No longer the worst dog. No longer the worst dog. <laughs> so some of the things that, that Jamie recorded was, one of the reasons we picked her is because he was so bad in the house. He would destroy things. He would tear stuff up, get in the garbage can. I'll let Jamie explain how that has evolved and changed. Yeah, do you, I understand, was there furniture and stuff getting messed up too? It was uh, definitely all of our pillows, Ugh. blankets, anything that was left on the floor. And he, what's it like now with Stanley House? Um, complete difference, absolute difference. I think the biggest difference was we were introduced to these interactive toys that keep his mind busy during the daytime. Okay. So what, kind no of, what kind of toys does, does a multi poo like him use? We actually brought some with us. Oh, they're, yeah. They're, yeah, I didn't bring, they're, they're off camera, <laughs> but the Magic Mushroom, uh, Kibble Nibbles, Buster Cubes. Are these like the puzzle jugs. toys where they they're get the food yeah, out? Tug they're jug. Yep, they're interactive toys where they got to <laughs> engage with the toy to solve the puzzle to get the reward. Nice. Plus using Kongs, like with young puppies, we use a lot of Kongs. Oh, yes. The other things we did with Stanley was confidence building exercises. Sit. He was just introduced Sit. to this oh, little boy. wooden box Sit. moments before we went on air. He yeah, this box, this box is from the studio. You guys did not bring it along with no. you. No. And he hasn't left that box since, well, before Danny started doing her last week. Yeah, he's been there, there several so. minutes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and what, what have Sit. you learned? But you know, you oh, always say oh, it's, it's training the dog, but it's also training the owner. So, Jamie, I got to ask you, what's the biggest thing you've learned to help keep Stanley Consistent. in line? Consistency, okay. mostly consistency. But there's lots of different things we've learned. We learned about positive make, uh, markers. We learned about um, the engagement and commitment, I think, are the biggest things. Yeah. And that's making for sure that if he's engaged, he's looking at me, so I know he's paying attention. He's committed. His feet are in the right position. Oh, like this is a good sit. example. He's been up there several minutes. We're yes. going to put him right back. This and is sit. part of engagement and commitment. Hey. And see, he's looking at me, so I know he's engaged, and then I reward. Good boy. Yeah, I definitely boy. expecting something out of it, and mm -hmm. he got it. Good job. That was, that was fantastic, and I bet he's going to be here several more minutes, right? Oh, this yeah. A, can, you, can you leave him, too? I can. Him sit and stay? That's his um, best thing he's learned, actually, is that stay part. And so he has to have those physical marker so he sees my hand and he knows my back off. Stanley, stay. Look at that. Look at that. And she's halfway across the studio now. I wish we could get a shot of that too because she's, she's, she's a long ways away from Stanley. Not shaking him in the least bit. So, Jamie, where his eyes are. I know. Watch still looking at you. Jamie, I congratulate you for all the hard work you've been doing because I know it, it takes the dog boy. and the human, it right? Is. So, <laughs> Jim, we've got right. another jaw, uh, 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 Jax, I understand, Jax's right? Is uh, the big lab who was also one of Boise's worst dogs, now one of Boise's best dogs, I'm assuming. That's coming up on Fox 9 in the 7 o'clock hour of Good Morning Idaho. So, again, congrats to you, Jamie, and Thank Stanley. You. Thanks for Thank coming you in. Thank you so very much. We've got more Good Morning Idaho next, uh, including a final look at the commute and the forecast. Don't go away. Come on, everybody. It's time for Sit Means Sit again with Jim Clausen. And this time we've got Isaac Brown joining us. Welcome back, Isaac, to the show. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning Jim. Good. And of course, Jax, this big, beautiful lab here sitting with us. One of Boise's worst dogs, according to our contest. But we know that's no longer the truth, right? Jim? That's no longer the truth. <laughs> we saw Stanley here earlier over on uh, Today 6 and on Fox 9. Jax has been making great improvements, too. Oh, my gosh. He has probably had the biggest turnaround. Because what? people didn't see was when he was live on the air last time. He was more vertical. He was <laughs> barking too. There, I, in the studio, it was very loud. You might have heard that if you're watching about, what, six, seven weeks ago when we ended the contest and announced yep. the winners. And Isaac, is he like that at home? Is he barking anymore? Nope. Nope, he's, uh, he's came a long way, especially with Daxton's toys. Uh, with Daxton, who is your almost one-year-old yep. child, right? Yep. <laughs> yep, so. We saw him just guiding, guiding the baby right. through the studio on a leash, and it was yep. yeah, so calm, uh, wasn't going to hurt him at all. Nope. Yeah, the dog was walking at the baby's pace, and so Isaac and his wife, Amelia, have really put in a lot of reps. This dog has taken a 180. He was all gas and no brakes, I like oh, to man. say, when we first started. He was up and down and all over the place and would drag... Well, he drug your wife around. <laughs> um, he would grab stuff from the babies. He would dive underneath the table, and she couldn't get him out. And now they've, they've gone through their first progression, their first phase, which is a private one-on-one -on -one lesson, which is where we teach them. They teach the owner and the dog both. Right. What's the biggest thing you have learned from that, Isaac? Um, a lot of just repetition, and then uh, learned a lot of <clears throat> how to get them to sit and stay and cues. Like, yes, good. And I saw you using hand signals right, and everything off signals, camera during yep. commercial breaks. I mean, you All look like a pro things. yourself. Yeah. I mean, you're getting some guidance from Jim. <laughs> but definitely. you you definitely know what you're doing, yeah, too. Yeah, he's definitely teaching me. 
Uh, yeah, so. part of half of it is the owners. Right. And you say the second part of the training is coming up. You said the one-on-one -on -one was first. What's next? And the second phase is where we're now going to be in group classes doing a lot of advanced work. Isaac's goals and Amelia's goals are to have off-leash control, which he's probably 80% there now. Oh, wow. Now we're going to put him into some That's advanced insane. classes where he's learning to do off-leash control, pay attention, have engagement, commitment to his commands in the presence of dozens of other dogs. And then including the, Stanley, including the other Stanley, dog Stanley, Stanley's learning. in the class. <laughs> yeah, they're in the class. And then Isaac and I were talking about eventually getting him into becoming a hunting dog for him so he can oh, take nice. him pheasant hunting and duck hunting. So we're going to get lots of different videos of his progression from being the knucklehead lab <laughs> to the finish hunting dog. And it's, I am sure it's okay when he talks about your dog that way, I think. <laughs> yeah. you know what he's come into? <laughs> yeah. into you, know? you even Sit. had one of the toys uh, that he's been training with. You yes. said yeah. it's, it's helped keep his attention there. Uh, are you using these at home with success? Yeah, we use these at home. Um, definitely good for his mind. It, so I the, could tell this when like he a puzzle, uses right? it. This yeah. is a, he has to put it down, step on it with his paw, and pull the treats out oh, right here. Okay, and you can okay. see, I mean, you look where his mind is. <laughs> he loves this thing. <laughs> and so, Isaac, we, we, are, we congratulate you because you and your wife, like, like you said, Jim, obviously been doing a lot of hard work, <laughs> and <laughs> he was excited. We'll give him the one, the yeah, one little, yeah, but, but cool. it sounds like Stay. he's doing absolutely cool. great, Isaac. Cool. Yep. All right, so cool. one of Boise's best dogs cool. now, and I think we may just have you guys back in studio a few absolutely. more months down the road after that second phase and see how things have even gone, see if Jax becomes a hunting dog. Right. All right, <laughs> thanks a lot, Jim, Isaac, for being in here this morning, and thanks, of course, Spencer. Jax, we love having you as well. And